Edward P. York High School, a place where hundreds of children across the country seek an opportunity at a good education. 15-year-old Damien Ferguson is one of them. He's visually impaired, but the independent-minded teen tells me that despite his disability, the other students have embraced him. My relationship with my classmates, sir, well, if I have to um, explain it, sir, so like a regular, um, like a regular relationship, so like a, no, no, no um, teasing, no, no bullying or nothing, sir. Basically, they are kind. And it is that kindness the children show Damien is one of the things that has helped him navigate through the compound and much of the activities at the school. Along the way, Damien has made an important friend. 14-year-old Daniel August is a tall, towering figure amongst his peers, but he talked about why this friendship is so important to him. It started from the first day of school where one of my, I think it was my teacher that um, assigned me to, like, well, not technically, not particularly me, but assigned the class to help him. And then, like, I just get up and I started helping him go about and stuff so he could, um, you know, get like an image in his head about the school compound and then from ever since that day just kick off I guess. Since that day Damien and Daniel's friendship blossomed into a unique brotherhood. He double, well he was one of the first person sir so I meet will become my friend sir. But aside from friendships Damien has a large workload. According to Valentin O, Damien's technical drawing teacher last term, the teen has not shied away from all the heavy lifting. I give him, I give him a lot of information with videos mentioned. Um, the only that was the only way he can perform the task because of the his situation, and uh, um, well, as mentioned, the extra research uh, I had to. Well, it was a lot, and then. Um, his performance, his information that he provided, his explanation, I would say was very, very good. As mentioned, I was surprised, but um, he performed very well. That persistence is something that comes from within. While Damien concedes that it was not that hard, thus far he has enjoyed his experience at the school. He told me how he first got interested in technical drawing. They would take my hand, sir, uh, show me like exactly where for the like example. If this was the um, desk, if this was the desk, um, we would have to board up the paper with a set or a T square here, set our paper around here, try and make it straight, and basically tape it down and use our pencil for use our pencil for some answer. But technical drawing is not the only thing on the menu at EPY. Principal Karen Canto explains that the school is doing its best to create future leaders of tomorrow. And Damien is one of the students who she says has a lot to give his country. I'm hoping that the junior college or university or wherever he chooses to go will see the promise that is in this young man. And that they will not be afraid either. You know, that they will not be afraid and that they will um, definitely invest in him. You know, I, I do see him functioning quite well in the Belizean society. That's part of our mission. To, to, to make them, guide them into becoming productive citizens in our society and he is definitely not exempt from that. I can clearly see him giving back to the society, whether it's in a, where he ser chooses to serve. That decision solely rests on Damien. His mom, who is his most important ally, has instilled a spirit of community and charity. And because of that, Damien has already long contemplated his role in the society. She do not hold me back none at all, sir. So, like, example, sir, first I wanted to go in scout, sir. Maybe a lot of people, sir, maybe have this uh, ability. With, maybe a lot of people, child, will have this ability, sir, like, stuff like that. So they wouldn't have wanted to go in the car, they get, they're afraid for they get hurt. And so, sir, so basically, sir, my mother's like, um, you know, hold me back. They have a lot of stuff for what I want to be, sir. But I pick family resources, sir, because I just want to be an. I just want it to be something like, um, wow, psychiatrist or something like that. Because you want to help people. Yes, yes sir. And for this future psychiatrist, the path seems ever present, clear, and bright. His optimism is not because he can't see the world; it's because he feels it in a special way. If you have a if you have a disability, sir, is it is not the end of the world, sir. You could just need to work a little harder and do the stuff that we basically um 
Damien's story proves the Helen Keller philosophy true. The chief handicap of the blind is not blindness, but the attitude of seeing people towards them. And for this teenage boy, his heart is one way in which we can all change the world for the better. Dale McDougall, Love News.